Welcome back for a new Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Pack unboxing. First off, total, we got four boxes and you get three packs per box. That was the only thing that was available at my local card shop. With that said, I'm going to pause quickly and get the packs out. Alrighty. Ten total, like I said, you got 12 packs. I've already cut the bottoms out. So let's see what we get, shall we? And basically it's just a small amount of actual cards, but there's multiple different versions for each. And here we go. Let's get to it, shall we? First of the 12 packs. Yeah, you get nine cards in each. First, you start off with like super rares. Now, there's many different kinds of rares in this. Plus, there's like platinum versions of each of them. Of course, then there's like the full hollow rares, and then the most valuable of which I'm gonna try to separate off to the side the basics like super from ultimate and stuff. Polymerization, nice. I already have this in a different set, multiples of. Now, I believe the only one that's worth money at this specific card is just the nice. We got our first platinum rare, which is cool. Then just a regular ultra. Ooh. Very nice. This is a full holograph, but this is not the core century one, as there's no mark on at the bottom. Still that is pretty awesome looking Solomon Judgment. A regular secret rare. Just a super. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this specific card in this hollow, I believe this is going for maybe around like 12 bucks or so on eBay, or maybe a bit more. So that's actually not bad. That's a decent pull. I'm not sure on the Solomon's Judgment, though. Classic Mystical Space Typhoon from OG Original Series. D.D. Crow. That's a regular standard ultimate rare. Now we have a regular ultimate version of the car, which is only a couple bucks, unfortunately. Same for this. Enemy controller. Nice scene in like the ultimate version foil yeah secret nice looks like this one just has standard hollows I believe this is going for maybe about what six seven dollars and that's probably the best card in this pack unless Magician Souls. Kind of cool. Next up. Another DD Crew. This is like. Sadly, a lot, quite a few of these are like $2, $3 cards. Nice, however. Seeing this card. Though in the ultimate treatment. Okay, we got another full foil. And this is 
I believe this is a platinum foil. No, it's not a platinum. Yeah, that's right. Platinum looks a little different. So, a full card foil. I forget, like, how many different foils there are in this set. Standard. And a certain cat. And I believe this is the alternate art. Which is worth a couple bucks more than the standard. Ooh. Holy crap, we got a quarter century card. Because as you can see right there, it's got the logo. I believe this is probably about... I would say it's probably about a $20 card. Not half bad. Basic secret. And another super at the end. Oh yeah, if you're curious, uh, curious at the music in the background, it is Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Standard artwork for the cat and super. Standard ultra. Okay, while well we got this, okay. Basic ultimate. We got another full hollow, nice. Twin twisters. I have always been a pretty big fan of the style of artwork of the Secret Rares. Next we have Mind Control. Definitely an interesting artwork. So far, I think we've pulled maybe two or three cards that are worth 10 bucks or more. Well, one that's worth at least 20, which is nice to help justify the cost of this set. Because let's just say it's a bit pricier, kind of like the Yu-Gi-Oh! equivalent to Modern Horizon. Anybody who also is into Magic the Gathering gets that reference. And last, this one Blazing Dragon. Cosmic Cyclone. Pretty nice. Very nice. Got a platinum version. And this is also the alternative artwork. I would say this is probably about maybe... I would say possibly around maybe... 11 or 12 dollars minimum so that's pretty nice a full hollow pretty 
Pretty nice car. Another full hollow. And it's a quarter of century hollow. I believe this is probably about minimum, probably about like twelve to thirteen dollars. So two quarter century rares. That's good. Yeah, got a secret in the last and a super version this time. Now have two ultimate versions of polymerization. Nice got ultimate version this time of this. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. That's kind of cool. Well, at least it's a new Red Eyes card in my collection. Nice, got another platinum. For Ultimate Slayer. Very nice. I believe that is also a special type of like platinum. Another full hollow. Nice. Very good. This, I would say, this specific card in this is, unfortunately, I would say maybe about seven, eight dollars. Not too bad, but not as high as some of the other versions. And so after this, we have four more packs. Another Platinum, very nice. Emergency Teleport. Nice, got this time a secret version of Palmerization. And four more packs to go. We are two thirds of the way done. And on to the final four. I had to change the music up. Nice. Ultimate version now. Oh the card definitely have gotten a lot of rescue cats that's for sure nice another platinum very nice I would say this version of the card is maybe about 10 to 12 range Very nice. And this time we have a super version of Red Ice Dark Dragoon. If I'm here correctly, I believe this card came out of a less popular set originally. 
I like the old, ooh, first blue eyes, jet dragon, very nice. Hopefully I can end up in a future pickup of some more boosters. Hopefully I can get like a quarter century rare as it is going for like 40 to $50 range. This one is going for probably just several dollars. A regular ultimate version of Ultimate Slayer. Very nice. And now I'll have an even better version of the Red Eyes. A secret rare version. Salmon Strike. Nice. And a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Always nice to get a Blue Eyes card. Okay, last two. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Which is your favorite overall like hollow artwork design? There are many different versions in this set, that's for sure. I mean, you have your standards, then you have, like, your platinum versions, quarter century versions, and I forget the other one. There's at least minimal, probably, like, six different hollows. Got an ultimate version of Mind Control. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this card is going for about... I want to say probably $10 to $12. It's not bad. Gotten several cards now that are worth $10 plus. Now this version, this is a quarter century rare. This is going for at least minimal, probably around $20 bucks plus. So that's pretty nice. It looks like... Got end up with a total of uh, three, so that's a 25% ray of packs out of this that had a core century rare. So that is very nice to know. Bingo machine, and last one starting out with nice basic version, the original artwork. Enemy controller. Nice. This time got it at least in the ultimate version. Magician's Soul. Ooh, Silent Magician. Well, this is the first time we've seen this card in here. Nice. This is another, like, probably, what, probably around maybe like eight bucks plus. Very nice. Alternative art in the secret rare. Probably look at maybe 12 to 13 dollars. And last for this pack, Illusion of Chaos. And that is it for this edition of pack openings. But with that said, what is your personal opinion on the Rarity Collection 2? How you rank it versus the original? With that said, I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe out there. And stay tuned for a future, some other unboxing videos I have coming soon. See you again soon. Enough.